wound up with a ski pole through my heart. Two doctors, when they got me down to Bishop, pronounced me dead, and I was out of body. And uh, I was in that spirit body here, you know. Uh, they tell us we have two bodies, well, we really do. And that spirit body's got this one beat all the heck. You're more alive, more alert, more aware. Uh, you suddenly know things you never knew before. Uh, and uh, that spirit body, there's no aches and pains. I mean, very comfortable. But uh, I, I realized that I wasn't, you know, particularly all that concerned about going back. And then I thought, but you know, there's something that I came uh, came to Earth to do, and I haven't done it. And I got to go back, take another crack at it, and don't ask me what that was, because I don't know. Maybe it's the things I'm doing now. I don't know. But uh, I said, God, I'm. Uh, I need your help. I want to go back and take another crack at it. And uh, so a third heart specialist came through and saw my buddy on the gurney. He was just waiting for the meat wagon. And uh, he said, I don't know what it was, Clint, but I didn't feel you were dead. And I, you know, that's, I think that was God answering my request. And, uh, I couldn't see, open my eyes and see him. I could hear him like he was a long distance away. He took. A, he came to visit a friend at the hospital. Was taking a shortcut to get to his car through the basement and saw me, and uh, asked, you know, about me. And they told him who I was and what had happened. And the two doctors pronounced me dead. And he went over and looked at me. He said, uh, "I don't think this man is dead." And he took his coat off and he asked for some tools, started cutting my chest open to check on the heart. And I couldn't open my eyes, but I did say to him, do you really have to do that? <laughs> there was a pause, and then I heard him say, yes, we do, and they rushed me up to the operating room. And when I woke up about 3.30 the next morning, all through a, full of tubes and everything, I knew he had that God had granted my request. And he told me afterwards, he said, Clint, you're a medical mystery. And that's how I'm written up. And then, you know, I've got the papers at home where they they said, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm trying to think of the wording. Uh, I contradicted uh, a lot of the things that they'd been taught by they, they said, uh, even if you had been alive, you should have been a mental vegetable uh, because you were without oxygen for a long period of time. 